when I was doing my orations, you wrote your speech and delivered it, and it, it's a lot easier to memorize something that you have written, but to take what you have been given and in such a short period of time, not only memorize it, but also bring a passion and so much of the spirit of the speech that was truly remarkable. Uh, Marquita is off the chain. I'm sorry that this girl is, uh, I mean, I have been underexposed. I, this is my first time hearing girlfriend sing. You know, I'm telling you, I, I've got a new favorite singer. Uh, I'm going to shift a little bit and put myself in the same position as the other students. I do remember, by the way, my temperance oratorical speech on um, on alcohol, our inherited foe. But I, I'm going to pick up on um, a a speech. Give myself a speech. Uh, Jameer did the last speech of Martin King. I've been to the mountaintop and did a wonderful job. Um, I'd like to, because it's shorter than the one that I gave, we had an eight minute time limit when I did mine. Uh, and just give the uh, last part of Martin King's sermon. Jameer gave the last speech in Memphis. The last sermon was before that and it was called The Drum Major Instinct. Uh, and the peroration uh, or conclusion of that was um, played at the funeral of Martin King. And he said, every now and then I guess we all stop and think realistically about that day when we will be victimized by what is life's final common denominator. And that's something we call death. We all think about it, and every now and then I think about my own death, and I think about my own funeral, and I don't think about it in a morbid sense. Every now and then I ask myself the question, what it is that I would want said, and I leave the word with you this morning. If any of you are around when it comes my time to meet my day, I don't want a long funeral. And if you get somebody to deliver the eulogy, tell them not to talk too long. And tell them not to mention that I've won a Nobel Peace Prize. That isn't important. Tell them not to mention that I've won three or four hundred other awards. That isn't important. Tell them not to mention where I went to school. Because I want somebody to be able to say in that day that Martin Luther King Jr. tried to give his life serving others. I want somebody to be able to say in that day that Martin Luther King Jr. tried to love somebody. I want them to be able to say that I did try to feed the hungry. I want them to be able to say that I did try in my life to clothe the naked. I want them to be able to say that I did try in my life to visit those who were in prison. Yes, I want them to be able to say that I tried to love and to serve humanity. Yes, if you must say that I was a drum major, Say that I was a drum major for justice. Say that I was a drum major for truth. Say that I was a drum major for righteousness. And all of the other shallow things of life will not matter. I won't have any money to leave behind. I won't have any of the fine, luxurious things of life to leave behind. But I just want to leave a committed life behind. And that's all I've got to say. If I can help somebody as I pass along, if I can cheer somebody with a war song, if I can show somebody he's traveling wrong, then my living shall not be in vain. If I can do my duty as a Christian or if I can spread salvation 
to a world that's not, if I can tell the story as the master taught, then my living shall not be in vain. Yes, Lord, I want to be on your right side or your left side. Not for any selfish reason. I want to be on your right or your left. Not in terms of some political kingdom of ambition. I just want to be there in love, in service, in justice. That's where I want to be. God bless you.